as brutal. Hate as from hers. Maryland. What? She gets caught. Heavy po Heavy Potter. Come on, bro. Come on, fam. That's that's not what we doing here, bro. Damn it. Is that a lesbian Peter Griffin? Oh my god. Y'all are wild, fam. It's forty nine thousand. Heavy Potter. Um, this is what kind of video we getting? What's going on, Clutch? What? What up? What up? What up? Sure, what up? It's your boy Ross, and we're in the Clutch. Hey. hey. Back. To you ladies and gentlemen another visitor that you feel me all right we're gonna check out tiktok's <laughs> new most hated user she doesn't deserve this yeah i think this girl i think we saw a clip mm -hmm. of on her try not to laugh caitlin on the trying not to laugh and people i mean she seemed like she was just being positive in herself or whatever and just they was talking about some hate from what australia yeah just, just randomly like just hate from australia that's wild bro. So, so we gotta see what's going on like why she's getting all this hate man yeah for sure all right I want to know why. Yeah, I, I want to know what's the, the what's the reason for it. All right, let's go. Campbell, and I doubt we'll ever see another comment section nearly as brutal. Hates from Maryland. She gets caught. Heavy po Heavy Potter. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, fam. Hold that's that's not what we doing here, bro. Damn it. Is that a lesbian Peter Griffin? Oh my god. Y'all are. <laughs> Wild fam. It's 49, heavy pot. Um, this is what kind of video we getting. All right. Food is Leviticus. And you're you're a part of the problem. You're definitely part of the problem, bro. Heavy Potter, lesbian Peter Griffin, and white Kim Jong Un. Oh, Although, if you're familiar oh, with Kate and Campbell's content, you might argue though. that she really doesn't oh, deserve hate. it. Her videos focus on the uncontroversial topic of coffee, initially posting tutorials <laughs> on how to make certain types or use specific pieces of gear. How do you hate on somebody that just talk about coffee and I, putting? I think her channel has become one of those channels where people. It's trendy to just hate on it. Yes. That's crazy. That's what. I, I don't hate even her. like <laughs> she's got a million plus followers to just hate on her. <laughs> it's a that's, that's a that's, that's, fuck that's hate to a different level, fam. But she's getting some good engagement. It's crazy engagement that people just out here they name where they from and they just say hate from Maryland, hate from Baltimore, hate from outer space, hate from the nebula. <laughs> just, just about coffee though. Yeah. My goal on TikTok is to help you brew the best coffee you possibly can at home. Since she was also promoting her own product called Street Brew, Caitlin added videos talking about how she ran her business. Welcome to the day in the life of a 29-year-old small business owner who makes coffee for a living. And while this was already hard enough to manage... Okay, running a small business, running any kind of business is tough. There are going to be bad days, there are going to be bad seasons, there are going to be days you want to throw in the towel. There was another thing making it even harder. From the moment I started posting on TikTok, I was met with hate and trolls and negative comments. Comments. Like really? The moment I started posting, you're like, "Here's some coffee." <laughs> yeah, and, and just like, like I hate destroy. You. <laughs> <laughs> On an early oh. is wild, fam. I'm, I guess it's. I know that's how social media is, but it's a hard time for me to wrap my mind around a million of people just following you. That I mean, of course, not all. Yeah, of course, but majority of the ones who are commenting. This <laughs> is hey, fuck you. <laughs> hey, what did I do? That's the fifty cent meme. The entire profile. Fuck me for what did I do? What did you fuck me for? Oh. Uh, encouraging people to open their own business. Caitlin received comments such as maybe start a gym, CEO of food, and all you do is roast coffee beans. Calm down. This understandably began to hurt her no feelings. Profile, Definitely like really bothered me because yeah. like in real life people aren't jerks like that. Yeah. Right. This is <laughs> not a real point. Point. So, yeah. so much that Caitlin felt the need to reply to the negative comments. Building a community. Yeah, you started it all. Never claimed I started it all. How can you be good at coffee? The same way you can be good at anything else. Practice and make better coffee. You're just making coffee. Everyone is good at making coffee. I beg to differ with the picture. continual hate bringing Caitlin to a crossroads. You have two choices. Keep posting content and ignore the trolls, ignore the haters, and go out there and win. There you go, Caitlin. Or stop posting content and do something else. Rather than yeah. defending herself, Caitlin began embracing the elements that made her page unique. How I deal with the hate. I don't live and die by the comments. I'm not searching for validation from people there who you don't. Go. And there you go, Caitlin. That's, I love it. That's why, and that's why people, I think, just keep doing it because they know she don't give a damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, at that point, it's, like I said, it's become a meme 
where people would just sit up there and see who can post the funniest <clears throat> one. Yeah. And because I've seen a channel like this on Instagram, but the reverse effect yeah. is this uh, white guy, he's dancing, and he's actually pretty cool. And he's pretty cold at it. Like, young kid just going crazy. Mm -hmm. And all you see is comments like, positive just overly positive comments right just on purpose and everybody's kind of in the trend of that and that's his whole channel like he'll post some dances and somebody be like man this video was trash but at the same time this is the best video i've ever seen in my life or man he can't yeah, really it. yeah man he you know he think he cold no, he's actually the best dancer I've ever seen in my God life. Is. That's what they do. So she needs to tap into that community. Maybe if she uh, collab mm -hmm. with him, yeah, yeah, you, the the hate will offset the the good. You know, so it'll be like a a balance. Hopefully, I, I don't know because yeah. niggas is. I'm rooting for Caitlyn. That's crazy. And when asked if she could focus on the coffee and not inspirational speeches, Caitlin politely told the viewer that she'd keep doing whatever she wanted, which when done this eloquently certainly adds to a person's charm. It's so funny to see people getting so triggered over somebody sharing stuff about their passion. We get it, you don't like coffee. She it honestly blows picture. my mind. People get so triggered over coffee. Why are people getting so mad? It's literally just coffee. Say it louder for the people in the back. It's so funny to see people get mad you like coffee. Everyone has hobbies, so what's wrong with coffee being one? It's crazy how triggered people get, although this failed to stop the rapidly increasing negative comments. On a video simply talking about her daily coffee intake, viewers berated her by stating, how about you watch your calorie intake too? You eat two chocolate cakes a day though too, yeah? You don't look like you worry about intakes. I guess she didn't really help- And this is why- yeah, nah, I ain't and gonna she lie got a to Jesus you. Jesus loves you shirt on. <laughs> the extra large Fruit Loops cow. Yeah, that's a thing. It's a big box. That's but, a, I mean, in a big ass bowl. She probably got it from Costco or Sam's. <laughs> that, oh, yeah. and it, you. But I think she's playing into it. Yeah, you gotta play into it. When you get comments like that, and it's just that's the trend. You kinda gotta be like, all right, it is what it is. I'm not really. I'm just gonna play into it and mm. go and roll with the punches. That's all you can really do. Because people are going to say what they want to say online. You can't really take them seriously. Because 99.9% .9 of the people that are saying this stuff on there, they're not going to say it to you in real life. So That part. <laughs> so just roll with the punches and, and go from there. And she's definitely playing it up. So Exactly. It's working. Help herself by making lattes and out Jesus of Fruit Loops. Look. Although the shirt she was wearing in the video revealed another reason she perhaps didn't deserve the hate. Caitlin explained that she began TikTok because she missed out on her dream job. So I got rejected from what I thought was like my dream job at the time. I used to be a pastor. It was a, a very big pastoring job. Which was a role oh, wow. she'd been studying for over four years. Damn. So I wanted to go into ministry. That's what I went yeah. to school for. I worked in ministry for four years. And while being religious doesn't automatically make her better or moral, you yeah. could say that somebody who dreams of being a church pastor That's might be crazy. slightly more ethical. Yeah, and I don't. How do you get rejected from that? Maybe at a certain, what, maybe church or I'm whatnot. Not sure. But I mean, I would still do it because once you have your, um, once I mean you've graduated and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, so maybe, I, maybe I don't know. It probably is maybe a particular church she was trying to be a part yeah, of. Start your own ministry, you mm -hmm. know, like or do the thing on TikTok. And in a way, she's probably doing it on TikTok by, mm -hmm. you know, talking about her passion, which is coffee, and sprinkling in those inspirational messages as well. So which is nothing wrong over, with that. That can lead over to a, a small ministry uh, type deal that you even display on social media or start your own thing. Yeah, yeah that's that's crazy than the standard TikTok troll. Because Caitlin then revealed that 20% of her company's revenue goes to the homeless oh, population in her city, which if anything led to a positive article titled, father-daughter duo behind street brew coffee wants to serve up real change for Toronto's homeless. That's Caitlin tough. also managed to land a spot on breakfast television until her positive path was reversed by one single TikTok that created a whole new wave of hate. Making coffee is harder than your nine to five. Hear me out. First, you have to weigh out your coffee to the exact gram, uh -oh. and then you have to get it ground up. It is uh -oh. exhausting turning this crank over uh -oh. and over again. Then, after weighing out your water and just, getting it... I mean, it was, I get the context, though. Like, it's just... I get it's what she's... It's, it's not even... Yeah, but you... She knew. Yeah, but it's she, still like a... She knew what was going to come. Yeah. She knew what... What you mean? Nigga, I make that shit before my 9 to 5. Fuck you, and you, you already my know. My does it for me. <laughs> 
heat it up. You have to pour it out in circular motions over and over and over oh, again until you no. reach the goal weight. The you whole hear the process can music? take four yeah, to yeah. six plus yeah. minutes, depending on what brew method you're using. Just pouring water over and over. Then finally, after all that hard work, you can enjoy the cup. But man, I'm exhausted. I need a nap. After her TikTok gained over two that million funny, views, though, I Caitlin was duetted by people working in manual labor. Making coffee is harder oh, than your nine to five. Over. Dang. Yep. Crazy. Yep. It's here over. It's over. You knew it. It's over, bro. This nigga is out here in war and <laughs> on TikTok. So, like, man, that's, yeah, that, that's another crazy part, too. Why are you recording? Should be. Anywho. But. Damn. Yep. Damn. I got the joke out of it, though. I hope they. I hope the people that were doing the videos understood the joke and they were. Some on. probably did, but there's a lot that as soon as they see it, they took it at face value. Like, oh, what the fuck you mean? Yeah. Those are the people that are always say weren't in our classrooms when we were in school, <laughs> and now we're just all together now. No, nah, they were. They was in a, a. They was in the back. They weren't in my class. They were in the very back, bro. Sometimes some schools didn't have that separate room. I so. was an AP, so. Okay. Sorry. okay. <laughs> Which were captioned with titles such as So thankful I'm not making coffee anytime soon. Honestly don't know how I'd manage. When a similar duet gained over 13,000 upvotes, most people managed to realize that Caitlyn's video was satire. However, it seemed as though the backlash was exactly what she wanted. Like yeah, I'm just trying to engagement bait. That's my goal. That's Given it. a single Might negative well. tweet bashing Caitlyn would explode her mainstream presence. The post featured a video of Caitlyn Caitlin with the caption, what is this phenotype? Nickelodeon and its consequences, to which Caitlin politely responded, oh hey, that's me. I just love my job and want to make people smile, which wound up gaining over 30 million views. Her humble response led to favor from the media, as well as a shout out from an Instagram page called Quentin Quarantino, with the post gaining almost 70,000 likes. Caitlin explained how much the hate had helped her grow. A couple days ago, a troll posted one of my pop-up videos in the hopes of tearing me down and spreading negativity. But it backfired in the best way possible. We were flooded with orders. We had our best sales day ever. Cool, we bro. That's what I'm saying. Flip it. That's how you flip it. Yeah, that's what it is. That's that's why there's there's engagement bait that you, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not a big fan of and I just don't engage in it. I see it, I'll be like, all right. Cool. You know, I know what you're doing. You got that, got that uh, check mark on Twitter. You mm -hmm. weren't verified a few years ago. Now you're all of a sudden verified for posting shit posts, and now you have these hot takes that you know is going people, to Kick get some engagement. But this, this is different. She reversed it because someone was in, trying to be an ass. Yeah, trying to be an ass, but it ultimately flipped, and now it 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 worked for her favor in her business. So. There More of the story, keep hating. Yeah, keep hating, bro. Through thousands of followers and just got it. so much positive feedback, comments, and messages. Although with a bigger Instagram following, Caitlin faced another problem. While TikTok automatically filters hateful comments, Instagram isn't quite so nope. generous. And as a result, her posts filled bro, with nothing but brutal insults. Accident. In the process, Caitlin cultivated the world's most dedicated hater, Anonymous51782, oh, no. who went through all of her old posts to write negative Whoa. comments on all of them. Caitlin's haters also developed developed a whole new style of comment, simply go. writing hate Slow from up. followed by their place. Yes, there it. was hate from Epstein's Island, oh, hate from oh St. Jude's Children's Hospital, hate from the front- Her account has become a meme, a meme account in the sense of in the comments. Hate she, from St. Jude's Hospital. Hate from the front lines of you. That's not even funny. Y'all front line of Ukraine, yeah. But look at this that. this is the trend. Look, fifteen thousand likes, sixteen thousand likes. But once again, Epstein's it on. helps. Even though I think people some people get in on a joke and say, fuck it, whatever, we just here for the, the joke of it. Mm -hmm. There's some people that genuinely, you know, feel that way, but it doesn't really matter because all that engagement, all those Oops. comments, all that helps her in the end. And yeah. people don't even realize it. They just, you know go with the trend but you put more money in her pockets because guess what those few people that are like you know the the a lot of people that are hating there's gonna be a few that's like hey let me let me see what the business is like yeah oh let me get some hey i'm a big fan of coffee let me hey how much it is let me check out a link let me buy something from this her. looks She's, good 
And the fact that she be, you know, ignoring the hate and turning it into positivity. Hey, I like her, man. Fuck all the bullies. Hey, I'm going to support. Because she, keep, she keeps going through anyway. Easy. But more simply, there was hate from Australia, which gained the attention of the mm -hmm. Yo Mama's House podcast. This is one of the biggest ones. Yeah, we go. saw People this clip. Just write hate. <laughs> that shit wild. Hate though. from Australia. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hate her. We're on the other side of the world. Just want you to know that I hate, hate you. you. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm, that was the one in the, the video. That, yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. How, fam? <laughs> I don't even know you. In a 13 minute video talking about the hate, Tom Segura pointed out that the comments were getting more likes than she had followers. Ignore all the positive comments. <laughs> 70,000 likes. I don't know. And she man. doesn't have like a million followers. This is a That's a lot of bro. account. Yeah. I mean, it has like 40,000, which is not nothing for sure. Although it'd be also through this video that Caitlyn's following Jeez. quadrupled, it which go. it capitalized on in a pretty clever way by launching a hate from Australia coffee blend. Talk about turning. That's cook. how you goddamn run it up, bro. She cooking, bro. <clears throat> Talk she about turning lemonade from lemons. Brilliant MP. marketing move. She cooking. Love it. You can keep on hating, but she cooking it and it's working, bro. Yeah, I, I ain't even mad that. at it. Hell no. Nah. Get your paper, uh, Caitlin. Lemonade from lemons. Brilliant marketing move. As a result, Caitlin became a guest on the podcast. That's awesome. So we got your mom shows coffee, uh, and then the hate from Australia, which is actually <laughs> Australian coffee. So wow. Nice wow. So when given the chance to slam her competition, she'd instead do the opposite. I've gotcha. heard a lot of coffee enthusiasts say that Starbucks is crap. What's your take on that? We owe a lot of third wave coffee success to Starbucks, so no animosity there. They started the third wave coffee movement. Without them, local roasters like me wouldn't exist. Caitlin then expanded mm. on her strategy for dealing Love with it. hate. I know who I am as a yeah. person. I'm, I'm very confident in who I am. I have a great support system. That's awesome. Uh, very close circle of people, and they can call me on my BS, and they're more than allowed to. And go. if you're not in my close circle, I don't really care about your opinion Such that cheaply. Yeah. Good, That's good way. After which she and Tom filmed a classic TikTok workout. And with comments such as, Tom Segura bought me here and you're now my favorite person. It seemed her appearance on the podcast had made a significant oh, impact. Kaylin's therefore become so popular, she's had to reject certain coffee events. We're getting emails. They're like, oh, we want to come here. We want to come here. We're like, absolutely not. No. We are taking the year off, the rest of the year off. With her social yeah. media oh, journey tough. being best summarized by the following comment. Words cannot express how much love I have for all the hate you've gotten. Look what happens when you're a good sport and roll with the punches while staying true to your original mission. So happy for you. And that's how it is, bro. Yeah. Slightly more ethical than that's the that's how it is. You roll with the punches, bro. Like if if you're trying to be in this content space, just know people are gonna send hate. People are gonna oh, say yeah. some wild shit on your comments, but you just roll with it because at the mm -hmm. end of the day. What people fail to realize, these social media sites, they want all the comments, engagement. all the engagement, and you build off of that. Like, if you focus on the negative, you'll never truly achieve what you're trying to do in this social media space. But if you just let the negative roll off your back and you play into it and, <clears throat> you know, keep growing your brand, I... You that's know what a, I'm saying? But that's a, this is a life lesson, yeah. uh, period. You know what I'm saying? People are always going to have an opinion. So mm -hmm. whether it's a whole bunch of hate, a whole bunch of love, regardless, what do you love doing? Yep. What matters to you? At the mm -hmm. end of the day, when we leave this earth, none of that is going to matter. Oh, this person said this. You're not going to be worried about none of that. So you might mm -hmm. as well go for what you love and what you got a passion for, regardless of what the naysayers are talking about. Mm -hmm. Whether you're in school or not, a lot of that happens and so many people, you know, switch up their style and their personality because of what the masses say. Mm -hmm. Everybody do what the masses do. You know, I remember, you know, just to, before we ended, remember when Yeezy came out with them shoes with the little holes in them? Bro, yeah. everybody I know personally talk shit about them. Next thing you know, people was buying Because everybody was buying it and it just started to become a trend. Or the Cybertruck. People was like, oh, this shit look ugly. Now... Is buying I'm seeing it on the road all the time. Yeah, again, I'm seeing them if, on the road all the time. But if you like it, cool, man. Yeah. But just stop caring about what the world say, man. We got to be people of our own. But I like that she is a good sport. Cause she, she is. Because I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to probably order some. I don't even drink coffee, but. Heavy Potter is funny. <laughs> Heavy Potter was definitely funny. That's, it was hilarious. I mean, if the, if someone going to roast you, if it's funny, that. that's, that's no. funny. But, and I'm pretty sure she's laughed at some of those Heck comments yeah. as well. Because I'll be like, all right. Like when people joke on us and I'll be like, you know what? That's that was a good, a good one. one. Yeah, that, I'm, 
I'm not about to be. Y'all roast us all the time, bro. Especially in the Discord. Like, oh, bro. But if it's funny, cool. If not, yeah, I'm going to light your ass up. <laughs> but that's that's just what it is. Hey, man, I'm glad to see that she's doing great, man. And Always. This is a cool follow-up because I didn't know how much people were just yeah, like how hating, bro. Went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy, man. But hey, shout out to Caitlyn. Hey, you need to be a Caitlyn yourself. Give a yeah, damn fact. about what you give a damn about. And mm -hmm. Keep on striding forward no matter what nobody say. Continue to spread love, be love. Hit up that like button. Let us know what you thought of the video in the comments down below. Keep sharing it. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Peace. This bitch is from Houston. If she got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.